Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hey, it's Mariah. I am currently putting on my shoes right now because we are going to take a trip. I can get my shoe on without falling to the dollar store. Yes, that's right. I said the dollar store because your girl is getting in to crafts. I need something to fill my free time, so why not? So let's go. Alright guys, we are in the car, and I just want to show you guys the sky real quick. It's such a beautiful day out. It feels great. Alright, enough stalling. Let's go to the dollar store. You guys want to jam with me on the way to the dollar store? Don't mind the car seat. There's no baby in it, but I am pregnant, so. I'm due in October, so I gotta get everything ready and ready for the new chapter in my life. Okay, so I just wanna show you guys that we finally made it to the Dollar Tree. Can't wait to go inside and see what they've got in the store before so I don't know where anything is and there's so many people in here. Oh my gosh guys look what I just found. Oh, this is my name is Sammy. It's an animal planner. It's so cute. My favorite animal is sloths. I want it but that's not what I came here for. Oh my gosh look how cute. You got the snacks in your fishing pond and your cha-ching. And you can't really care about the other things. <laughs> I'm a photographer so like, I like really want these cameras but I don't need them. Okay, well, I wouldn't say it was a total bust. I did get a couple of things I needed, like some paintbrushes and some glue sticks. But I still need more materials, so looks like we're going to Walmart. Jam out, guys. Let's see. Oh, let's melt down, girl. Living in a lonely world. It's not how I really sing. Midnight train going anywhere. Only race for South Detroit. We took the midnight train going anywhere. Hey, Walmart. Don't let me down. Hey, okay, guys. So, for my Walmart shopping trip, it wasn't a complete success. I still wasn't able to manage to get the one main thing that I needed, but I did get my hot glue gun. Some foam brushes. There's a person walking. And my Mod Podge. Time to try another dollar store to see if they have the main thing that I need. Okay, so I ended up not going to another Dollar Tree to find coasters just because it don't seem like any of them have any. So I went back to Walmart and got these wood shapes. I got these in a pack of six for a dollar something, which wasn't too bad just to be able to have something to try the steps out on just to see how it would turn out. So I went ahead and did this one with a picture of pine cones that I had. Um, I followed each step through, and it seems to have turned out okay. Um, so I'm going to find another picture that I want to use to put on the coaster, and I will show you guys step by step how I make this one. So that way, if you guys are at home and bored and want to try it, then you have the steps, and you can give it a try yourself. So let's get started. Okay, so you don't need much for this project. You just need your picture, your surface that you're going to put it on, your Mod Podge, which I got the Mod Podge matte, um, which is the water-based glue sealer and finish. I got that at Walmart, along with a foam brush. I think the foam brush works better um, to smooth out the glue, so I got the foam. And then you just need... A marker to trace your picture, the space that you want to use, and scissors to cut it out. So I'm going to be using 
this picture of a hot air balloon that I have. So I'm going to lay my picture down, put my sur lay my surface down on top of the picture where I want it. And then when I think I have it about, about where I want it, I'm going to take my marker. And I'm just going to trace around the picture. Like that. I'll take my surface off. And then, if you, I don't know if you guys can see the circle or not, it's going like around here. So, I got my surface, my the part that I want to use circled. So, I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut on the black line that I just made to cut my picture out. You guys can use scissors, you can use paper cutter, um, whichever one you guys have, or whichever you think works better for you. I'm going to put the scraps aside, and then there's my picture. I can put it either way. I think I'll put it this way. So then next, what you'll do is you'll lay your photo down. So you'll lay your picture on a surface. Which I'm using a napkin so that way I don't get the Mod Podge all over the table. You can get your Mod Podge out and your brush. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to just take your brush, the Mod Podge on it, and brush it over the back of your picture. Make sure you're getting it every inch covered. Okay. And then once you have the back of your picture covered, you'll just take it and then you'll take your surface. Get that out of the way. And then you'll just lay it flat on your surface. Like that. And then you'll take your brush and your Mod Podge again. And brush the Mod Podge over the picture. But you want to make sure you don't gloop it. And you get very thin lines. I'm making a mess on the fingers, but okay. So I want you to get your Mod Podge on your picture. It should look something like this. And then you'll just stick that aside and let it sit for 30 minutes. So I'm going to let that dry and then we'll be back. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes. 
since I put the first pair of nail polish on my first day, because um, it was 12.54 and now it's 1.30. So now that it's dry, you just take your Mod Podge and your brush, and you just put another layer of Mod Podge over the, over the picture, and then you let it sit for another 30 minutes, and then you are done. Um, now, one tip that I've heard is to use Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear Enamel Paint to spray over them um, just to make sure that they are waterproof sealed. Um, I don't have any of the paint at the moment, so I can't do that. So I'm not going to start using these till um, after I get the paint and spray them. But you only spray them with one layer, so it's not like you're using a whole bunch. And tip is make sure that you wash your brush out after every time you use it. Okay, so we'll get another layer. We've got another layer of Mod Podge on the picture. And then we'll set that aside again for another 30 minutes. And then we're good to go. And I will make sure to post the um, how to steps at the end of this video and in the comments uh, section down below that way if you guys um it might be easier instead of trying to pause the video for each step and then have to rewind so i'll just put them down in the comment section down below um make it easier for you guys so that is it for this video i hope you guys decide to try it out um and maybe give them to your family members or a friend for a gift idea. Um, post down in the comment section if you guys do decide to try this. Um, or if you guys use something different um, to make your coasters. Then post them down in the comment section below and I will try those too. Um, Alright, so that's the end of this video. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for post notifications to be notified every time I post a new video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!